Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to a Dollar Tree haul. I am so excited to share this Dollar Tree haul with you guys because I am obsessed with most of everything I got, but there's a few items that I was blown away by, so excited about, so I'm so happy to share it with you guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love Dollar Tree hauls and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe. This haul is from a Dollar Tree I talked about in a couple other hauls that I wanted to go check out. I heard it was a two-story one, and then I heard that I heard wrong the first time, and that this was like more like the size of a BJ's or a Sam's or a Costco. And at that point, I really just wanted to know what this Dollar Tree was, how big it was, if it's bigger than any of them that I've ever been to. So I made the haul over there with my brother, and... Um, you will see the shop with me from that tomorrow. I'm not gonna let you know what size it was, but I will include all the info tomorrow of where it was and all of that, and I'm excited to share that with you guys. But now let's get into what I actually bought from the store. One thing that I had in my basket that I saw as I was editing my shop with me, it didn't make it home with me, and it was a little um, cotton tail, bunny tail, that you, has a little alligator clip on it that you just clip on to whatever um, I don't know where that went so I'm so bummed about that but other than that I've got so many good things to show enough talking let's get into the things that I got I'll start with the stuff that is not Easter related and I'll save the Easter stuff at the end which has some of my favorite things but this first thing that I found I have never seen before and immediately when I saw it I knew if this thing works it's gonna be amazing. I don't know about you guys, but I write my daughter's name in um, shirts and pants sometimes if she is going somewhere where I worry that they might get lost or anything like that. And I sometimes also like to try and resell her clothes. And if there's her name written in any of them, they never take it to try and resell it, which I totally understand why. But that's where this will come into play. If this works, you would just write the name on it, stick it in the shirt, and you're good to go, and you don't ruin the shirt anymore. It says it's washer and dryer safe, no iron needed, so it sounds pretty dang amazing. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried this before and how it worked for you. Also, I am starting a new series on my channel. I am doing the first one this Friday, and I am going to be reviewing a product each week and testing it and sharing what I feel about it, how I feel about it, how it works, if it was worth the money, and uh, I'm really excited about it. I always rely on reviews before I buy something, and I never do a very good job of leaving my own review. So this is my way of paying it forward, and um, I can start doing reviews when people search you know, reviews on stuff. I search on YouTube all the time, different reviews of things. This can be my way of contributing and hopefully you guys will enjoy it as well. So a lot of it will be like stuff from I order from Amazon, but if you guys wanna see anything reviewed from Dollar Tree or anything like that, which I was thinking, possibly if you guys are interested in, I could review this. I could put it on one of Lennon's shirts, let her wear it for the day, wash it, dry it, and see if it holds up. So let me know if you guys would be interested in this, but I am very interested in seeing how it works, and I hope it really works awesome, because that'd be really cool. Especially for a dollar, what? This next thing I found is so cute. It is a flower pot hugger, and it's a little turtle, and she's got a little flower in her hair and she's just chilling. And I thought this would be so cute on my porch on a little flower pot that I have on a table. They had other ones too. They had, um, I think a ladybug, an owl maybe. I think you'll see it in my shop with me. That'll be up tomorrow if you're interested. But they had a lot of really cute ones. And I think for a dollar, this is adorable to add. And this would be even a cute, little gift if like a spring gift or if you're gifting something someone gifting to someone around Easter or something like that that's older or even a kid would might would like it if they have their own little flower pot or anything I don't know I just think this is really cute especially for a dollar but cute in general Dollar Tree had a ton of succulents and these cactuses cacti um, <laughs> at their store still and I got just a couple. I got this succulent. I already have this one and I love the way it looks so I wanted to get another one. Then I got this one. I thought this was cute like a little mama and it's baby. And then I got this fella. I just like the shape of it and the little things sticking off it. Oh god I gotta sneeze. 
<laughs> oh my god. I always sneeze in threes. Always. Does anyone else sneeze in threes? My whole life. My brother does it. My mom does it. Maybe my mom doesn't. My dad definitely does. It's crazy. My husband also does it. How many of you guys sneeze in threes? Let me know in the comments below. I picked up this garden dish. It's just clear plastic. I was on the hunt for the little um, circular ones that are smaller, kind of in the shape of an ornament. Uh, I've seen other people haul them. I haven't seen them in any of my stores yet. I really wanted those, but again, I haven't seen it. So I went ahead and got this because I thought this would still be cute um, for a little succulent container. I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna use it yet, but I think it on the patio. I picked up two boxes of these little Jenga tower um, blocks. I did not buy them to play Jenga. I got them to go along with this mirror. I saw a DIY on YouTube and she did the cutest thing with these Jenga blocks in the mirror and so I'm going to try and recreate it and put my own little spin on it. Not much of a little spin, just just a little bit different, but uh, I'm really excited. Hopefully mine will turn out as good as hers did because it looks so cute. So if you guys are interested in seeing that DIY, let me know. I wish I could think of who it was. It was just a someone, someone that popped up in my feed. Um, but if you guys wanna see that video, I will make sure to also link the original video down below in that video. You know what I'm saying? I picked up this lens cleaner spray. Hopefully it works well. I just wanted to put it in my car. If you ever see me in person during the day, I will most likely have sunglasses on and those sunglasses will most likely have smudges all over them. My glasses are always dirty. I always forget to use like an actual cleaner on them and I don't think of it until I'm in my car and it's too late and I don't have anything with me. So I decided to put this in my car. Hopefully it will fix my dirty sunglasses situation. It's bad sometimes. I picked up these sticky notes. I love the size of them. I've been using, utilizing my planner a little bit differently and this is exactly what I needed. I was cutting some post-its down to basically this size. So finding these for a dollar makes me very happy. I also picked up some tongs. They're just tongs. My other tongs were really long so I decided Hey, let me get a shorter pair of tongs. If the lighting and setup looks totally different, I'm sorry, I ran out of battery and I had to let it charge for a few minutes. The sun's going down and I don't have like my full lights on because um, dealing with Nala right now, I just don't feel like lugging out lights and all that. So I hope you guys don't mind. Sorry if it looks a little different. But now let's get into the Easter and spring stuff because I'm totally obsessed with the things that I found. Like, it, I can't even get it out in words. The stuff that Dollar Tree puts out during the holidays is so good and it continues to get better and better every dang holiday. It's amazing. Um, their wall art is continuing to just blow my mind. I saw these two signs that were hauled from Kristen here on YouTube. Her channel name is Eclectic Kristen. She's super cute. If you don't follow her, you definitely should. She does great content on her channel. I will link her channel down below. You should definitely check her out if you haven't. But she hauled these two signs that I had never seen before and I immediately fell in love and I knew I had to try and find them. I tried to find them. I couldn't find them and then I found them and it's First, the welcome to our home with the little tin up here and down here, the distressed look on the back. I love the font, I love the carrots, I love the little twine top thingy. I love it all. This is so, I could see this being at like Pottery Barn or something like that. Like. Maybe it would have a little more pizzazz to it, but I don't care. For a dollar, this is so cute. I am so obsessed. I can't even believe it. Dollar Tree is continuously upping their game with their signs. And the other sign that Kristen hauled that I fell in love with is this one right here. This is the sign. This sign is my everything. I am so obsessed with this from head to toe, top to bottom, whatever you wanna say. I love the colors. They're beautiful. They're perfect pastels for spring and Easter. I love the writing and the white with the white glitter. The, there's not much fallout. The little burlap um, ribbon on his neck. Oh my gosh. Again, with the 
you know, ropey twine. What's the other word? Jupe or jute? Jute. I don't know. You know. You know what I'm talking about. That at the top, I just... And of course, the saying. We believe in the Easter Bunny. I love that. I loved the Christmas stuff that we believe in Santa Claus and now that it's pushed over to Easter. I just can't get enough of this sign. I love it. I love it. I am also obsessed with this yard stick or garden stake, whatever you want to call it. It has the little stake at the bottom. Don't mind mine, it's dirty. I put it in my indoor houseplant. This is so cute in an indoor houseplant or even if you have a porch that doesn't get, I just would recommend you don't get this wet because it won't hold up. But if it's under cover somewhere, it could still get a little damaged depending on humidity and stuff. But regardless, inside in an indoor house plant or however you can you know add into it like a little flower arrangement or anything you wanted to do this is just so cute they had some really um cute other ones as well that you can see in my shop with me tomorrow but this one stole my heart and i had to get it and i love it and the bow oh my goodness thank you dollar tree I also picked up this bunny. I can't believe it was only a dollar. I think it is adorable. So, so flippin'. What's another word? All I say is cute and adorable. I'm sorry. That's literally the only words I can think of. Amazing. It's amazing. This is just amazing. I don't know if it's amazing, but it's dang cute. Uh, they had this in a blue color, and I think there might have been a green... I don't know. You'll see in my shop with me because I definitely got a shot of these. But it has a little ribbon that you can hang it that way or obviously you can just hang it on the wire back there. I think I might add a little gem or something to the middle of that because you can see the staple just a little bit. You could even take this off and put something else around it that's not made of plastic. I think this is just a great find for a dollar and I wish I would have gotten more because I got this from my daughter's room but now I want it in like a few other parts of my house. I hope they still have more. I also found this sign. I haven't seen anyone haul this sign. Um, I think it's gorgeous. Ooh, that's a new word for me to say. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. The gold foiling look to the writing. The colors for spring. Spring is in the air. I love it super cute for spring and especially they don't have usually a lot of just spring dedicated stuff like this so I love that they have this I think this would be a really pretty coffee cup Dollar Tree you should make a coffee cup just like this but I love this very very much these these right here these fabric treat sacks I couldn't believe when I saw them at Dollar Tree I think this is a really good deal for four for a dollar. I could see Hobby Lobby having something like this or Michael's and it being definitely more than a dollar. I think this is so cute to use as decor, which is how I'm going to use it. Or if you're having a party or you're giving little baskets away to anyone uh, to put a treat in there or just use this as the treat. It's so cute. Again, Dollar Tree. I mean, geez, how like you can't complain. It's, they're, they're too good. I picked up some of this grass. I got moss last time that I thought I was gonna use for a DIY and I haven't been able to do the DIY yet and I saw this and I decided I actually wanna use this instead. So, got this for a DIY. This egg garland. What? A dollar for this. How cute. Pink ribbon, the little jewels. You've got the different colored sparkly eggs. I mean, it says it's six feet long for a dollar. What a great little decoration for a dollar. I got two of them. I couldn't, I couldn't resist these. The last things I got are these big sparkly eggs. They had to be mine when I saw them. I think they're only in four colors. That's what I saw, so I got all four of them. They have a little top where you could hang it on something if you wanted to or you can obviously just use it de as decoration laying down. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna use it yet, but I got them because I'm definitely gonna use it. This is obviously the yellowy one. It kind of has a orangey red reflex that you can see there, but in person it looks you know, mostly yellow, but you can still see the reflect a little bit. Then there's this pink one, so pretty. And then lastly is this green one, Again, it kind of has that orangey red reflect in it, but 
super pretty as well. I don't remember Dollar Tree having things like this last um, Easter, so I'm not sure if they did, but I'm definitely happy that they have it this Easter. That is it for today's Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the things that I picked up. I'm, like I said, so obsessed with the majority of everything. I cannot wait to put it out. I'm ready to start decorating for Easter. I'm gonna get down the box tonight. Uh, I need a little bit of decorating. Always helps relax my mind, and I have a lot of stuff going on, so decorating is gonna happen this weekend. Stay tuned for my shop with me from this trip coming up tomorrow. Again, it is at the Dollar Tree that I was curious about, and it's 45 minutes from my house, so you guys will see with me what this Dollar Tree was. Obviously, it wasn't too much of a disappointment because I got a lot of awesome stuff that I'm so happy about. But stay tuned for that because there was a lot of stuff in there that I show and I was editing the video I'm like, I should have got that. I should have bought that. It's, it's Shop with me is do that to you. You you watch it after the fact and you're like, why did I not get that? So I'm going through that right now. Pretty sure there's gonna be another Dollar Tree trip in my very near future. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Stay tuned, like I said, for the shop with me. Friday is my first review of my new series. I'm so excited to share that review with you. That's it for today. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I just wanted to pop back on here real quick and say thank you so much to everyone that left a super sweet comment or sent me a message about my video that I posted yesterday regarding my bulldog Nala who's sick. The amount of super sweet, just nice comments and, and messages and you know prayers and thoughts and all of love it was just overwhelming in the best way and i just want to say thank you so much if i haven't gotten a chance to um respond back to your comment just know i've been reading them all and i've been trying to get back to as many as i can so thank you again so much you have no idea how it means how much it means to me and my family to have so much support and love and we really appreciate it so i'm officially done now thank you again i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day i'll see you in my next video bye